Hey there guys, welcome to the meat shop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make breakfast sausage. I'm gonna show you two different styles of breakfast sausage and then you're gonna get the recipes, technique, and different ways to serve them all in this video. So, if you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll get right to it. Okay there guys, so like I said in the intro, I'm gonna show you two different kinds of breakfast sausage. Uh, just a little background on the breakfast sausage. It falls into the fresh sausage category. So when it's sold to, as retail to the customers, it's not cooked. It's something that you take home and cook. Um, I'm assuming if you've watched this, you've had breakfast sausage before, but maybe you haven't. It's a staple in North America and lots of parts of Europe. It's usually served at breakfast with pancakes or eggs or toast on a bun kind of thing. It can be made, um, a variety of different shapes and sizes. So you can get breakfast patties, you can get the small collagen stuffed breakfast sausages, and uh, you can get them in the banger size. Uh, so 29, 32 millimeter hog casings. And I'll do all three for you today. But uh, yeah, breakfast sausage, it's hugely popular. And uh, it's a fresh sausage. You can get it in all different shapes and sizes. And we'll do all those for you today. Um, today, I'm gonna make mine out of pork. It, breakfast sausage though can be made out of pork, it can be made out of beef, it can be made out of chicken, venison, and it can be made out of a blend of those. You could have a pork venison, a pork and beef, uh, pork and chicken. Uh, it works great with all of them. Um, if you are doing this with venison, I would maybe suggest adding when we get to the spice section just a little bit more if you're doing a straight venison. Uh, just because venison has a little bit more, has a stronger flavor than pork or beef or chicken. So, like I said, we're gonna make two styles. Um, one I would describe as like the traditional North American one, uh, maybe a little bit more American. And the other one is what we sell in the store. It's a more mild version of the breakfast sausage. It's more popular in Canada and uh, maybe a little bit in Europe too, a more mild breakfast sausage. Um, but in the traditional American one, the staple seasonings in a breakfast sausage is salt, black pepper, sage, and usually a little bit of cayenne or uh, chili flakes. Um, and we'll do that one first here for you. Maybe I'll go over the equipment you need, looking at all this and wondering what you need. Before we get into it, the equipment. You'll need a mixing bowl, a sausage stuffer, or if you have a stuffing attachment for your grinder, that works. A couple stuffing horns, casings. I mix the spices up ahead of time uh, using the same methods that you can find in my how to mix spices for sausage video. Uh, we got a gram scale to measure out our water and yeah, maybe some gloves, knives and a place, clean place to do it. So that's it for equipment for this. I have some, I'm making mine out of ground pork shoulders. So when you're making a breakfast sausage, a fresh sausage, most of the time, you're shooting for a fat ratio of somewhere between 15 and 25%. Pretty important. Uh, after 25%, you can get up to 30, but after 30, it definitely gets pretty greasy and it will affect your end texture. It'll become kind of crumbly. Uh, and it's hard to keep that fat bound in the sausage when you have that much so it will run out when you cook. So I'm using ground pork shoulder, so it's gonna be about 25% fat, so these guys are gonna be quite juicy. Um, and the same can go with beef. You can use beef at 25% fat using, you know, if you got whatever you, whatever you got for sausage. If you got some scraps kicking around, some lean scraps from making jerky leftover, and you got a little bit of that hard back fat from briskets, you can throw that in here, it works okay. Or if you got venison, I definitely usually suggest adding at least 30% pork or some sort of something to bring the moisture up because wild game is very lean. And when I prepare it, I take all the fat off and such. So you wanna make sure you got some sort of fat source to bring the moisture content up. So I'm using ground pork shoulders or you can use ground pork picnics, just a little bit leaner uh, today. And we'll make the country, what I call the country style breakfast sausage or the American style breakfast sausage first. Um, I got the spices mixed up ahead of time here. You can see them in there. But in this guy, and I use these, uh, I'll just show you the recipe real quick. This is the format I, I use them in. We always do it in grams per kilogram. So I print out the spices ahead of time. Focus. These are the spices on the left, and then on the right 
is the amounts you need for our batch. And our batch is going to be two kilograms today. I operate in kilograms because I'm up in Canada, I guess. But the country style breakfast sausage has salt at 19 grams per kilogram, black pepper, one gram per kilogram. I added white pepper at 1.5 grams per kilogram, sage, two grams per kilogram, chili flake, one gram per kilogram, and that can be substituted out with cayenne, cayenne, sorry, uh, sugar at three grams per kilogram, thyme at one gram per kilogram. But when you guys are making a breakfast sausage, you don't have to stick to this. It's usually salt, black pepper, cayenne, sage, and then they, you, you can play around with like one or two other herbs. So you can do salt, black pepper, sage, cayenne, and fennel, or sage, cayenne, uh, salt, black pepper, sage, cayenne, and ginger, or ginger nutmeg, something like that. But those four are the staple of a breakfast sausage. There's no wrong way or right way to make a breakfast sausage, just whatever you like. Make this one, if you go, oh, it's missing something, add some fennel, add some ginger. But the staple is salt, black pepper, sage, and either cayenne or chili flakes. Then you can play with it from there. And then I also have a binder. I'm using a soy protein binder in this guy. So the steps are going to be, we're going to, I've ground this ahead of time. You guys don't need to watch me grind. I'm sure you've seen a thousand grinding videos and I'll make a grinding video for you guys one day. So just going to open it up, add our spices, which I've pre-measured out at that ratio, mix it in real good. And then we will stuff it into some small ones, some 29, 32 millimeter naturals, and we'll make a couple patties. That's the country one. Uh, the one we sell in the store, which you can maybe call like a Canadian breakfast sausage or a mild breakfast sausage or a European breakfast sausage, uh, is a little bit different. It doesn't quite have the kick. It's quite a bit more mild. And this one we sell loads of in the store. And this is a great one to add maple to. If you like a maple breakfast sausage or blueberries or raisins, you can make a maple blueberry, maple raisin sausage and maybe one day I'll make another video on how to integrate non-meat ingredients into the breakfast sausage. But in the mild Canadian version, we have uh, salt, white pepper, oh, I guess I should give you the ratios, salt at 18 grams per kilogram, white pepper, 1.5 grams per kilogram, sugar, 2 grams per kilogram, and then this is where it really changes from the American or the country style breakfast sausage. We have nutmeg at half a gram per kilogram, coriander, half a gram per kilogram. You don't need a lot. It's, it's pork picks up and portrays the flavor, the spice uh, profile really well. So you don't need to put in tons of seasonings into these sausages for, it to, for the flavor to come across. So that's nutmeg and coriander at half a gram per kilogram. And then the predominant spice in this one is onion powder at three grams per kilogram, then half a gram of celery powder it's kind of rare, but it it's actually works really nice in this, uh, at half a gram per kilogram and binder again. So it's salt, white pepper, sugar, nutmeg, coriander, onion powder, and celery powder in the mild version of the breakfast sausage. Steps are the same though, and they both, it works the same. Both of these work great, pork, beef, chicken, venison, and we're making ours out of pork. So let's get to it. I just ground these up the other day, vac pack them. The vac packer keeps the freshness in. Mm, it smells good. So that's something I do guys is when I got the grinder dirty and I got some extra pork trim kicking around, I'll just grind a whole bunch up ahead of time and I got a vacuum packaging machine. Oops, my glove ripped. So we'll just vac pack up a bunch in little batches like this for play days, test and tune. And I would suggest you do the same, but I guess uh, just so you know, it's a double ground uh, pork shoulder finished on a fine grind. Uh, if you want a little bit of texture in your breakfast sausage, you can mix in a little bit of coarse ground pork or coarse ground beef just for a texture difference. But the majority of the time, it's always going to be fine ground uh, whatever animal you're using. Most of the time it's pork. It's predominantly pork, but uh, fine ground. I'm just going to break it up here and apply our seasonings, chili flakes, sage, thyme, black and white pepper. Did I say chili flakes already? Salt. Now there's nothing tricky about this guy. It's just evenly distributed over top of our, uh, our pork mixture, our two kilograms of pork. Then I'm going to get a little bit of water. 
I like to use water at 10%, so I have two kilograms of pork, so I need 200 milliliters of water. Two oh three, close enough. I'm gonna get another glove. I am back. Now this smell is awesome. It's really herby. You can smell that pepper and those chili flakes. This guy's got a little bit more kick. A little water. Put about half the water in. Save a bit. Toss it around. Now, when you're mixing this, guys, I suggest mixing it. It depends what you want. If you do want a crumbly sausage, you can have a little bit more fat in it and don't mix it as thoroughly. But for the most part, you're gonna shoot for a bunch of protein extraction. So you wanna mix it until it sticks to your gloves and it's really sticky and it's one giant meatball. Man, that smells delicious. I hope you guys make this at home so you can relate to this smell. Oh, that's what Elon Musk needs to invent next. After you're done the rockets, let's get some smell o vision But yeah, just keep mixing, guys. A couple minutes of this, and uh, I'll show you what you're, what you're looking for. But just make sure you're thoroughly getting those spices distributed. The water helps a lot. But I'll be back in a couple minutes when I'm done mixing this. Okay, guys, I've been mixing for a couple minutes, just trying to thoroughly distribute those spices. And uh, what we're shooting for is protein extraction here. So the salt's going to talk to the, all the ends of the meat fibers and uh, the soy protein we added in there is going to help hold the water together. So when we cook it, it's going to have a, a more juicy, juicy end flavor. That's what that uh, binder and stuff does for us. But I've been mixing, and as you can see, fingers are spread. She doesn't want to come off. That's what you're shooting for. Protein extraction. That's the end. You know when it's sticking like that, you've, you've sufficiently mixed it. Uh, here's our little two kilogram batch. Now here, at this point guys, if you wanted to, you could add, uh, if you wanted to make it a maple, you can make, add maple extract or maple syrup or uh, we've made honey breakfast sausages for guys and they work out real nice. They're real yummy, the honey ones. Uh, we've also put apple sauce into it or dried apples. Works really good at this point. Um, if you are using applesauce though or maple syrup, you do want to compensate because you don't want too much water. Uh, it'll affect the end texture and quality. So you always want to shoot for about 10%, uh, no more than 20% added water in your sausage. So at this point though, we got this guy mixed and uh, I will do the same again with the mild version and then we'll stuff them and make breakfast patties. So at this point, we technically have breakfast sausage. It is a chopped, seasoned, bound piece of meat. So this is right now sausage. Uh, and we're just gonna change um, the way it can be served or presented. I'm gonna show you three different ways. We're gonna do it in like in a banger size, uh, smoky size, 29, 32. We're gonna do a patty and we're gonna link up some little bitty breakfast sausages. But I'm gonna put this in another container and do the mild ones. We can stuff them at the same time. Okay, we'll set him aside. It smells really good, those yummy, yummy herbs. And I have another two kilogram pre-measured out batch of pork shoulder, vacuum packaged, to make our mild breakfast sausage. Pop him in there. Same thing, 25% uh, fat, uh, fine ground, uh, double fine ground. Well, first ground was coarse, second ground we ended on a fine grind. Uh, I should break this up. And we will add our mild breakfast sausage seasonings. And with this one, guys, it's, it's, pro it's, it's the same thing. Like the essentials in, a, in this mild breakfast sausage is salt, white pepper, um, sugar, and onion powder. And you can play around with the other ones a little bit. You could do salt, white pepper, sugar, onion powder, a little bit of ginger, or whatever you want, basically. So just these aren't, you, have, you know, if you stray and play and vary with the recipes, uh, that's fine. That's really good, actually. I'll measure out that 200, sorry, 200 milliliters of water again to bind with our water and distribute our spices and keep our sausage juicy when it's cooking it. Another bonus of adding water is uh, the cooking yield. 
when you cook or smoke a sausage, you lose kind of 15 to 20 percent. And uh, when you add 10 percent water, um, you get a better yield at the end. The more of that fat and juice from the meat stays in your sausage because that water helps cook it. Cook it, distribute the spices, add juiciness at 10 percent, no more than 20. Same again though guys, oh this one smells really good. You can really smell the onion and a little bit of celery in there. Okay, same again guys. I'm going to thoroughly mix this and I'll be back. Okay guys, I've been mixing for a couple minutes and again, whoop, lost that guy. We're well stuck together. You can't really over mix it. It's, it helps distribute the spices. You just want to make sure the meat doesn't get too warm. You never want to mix it up. Uh, so it's room temperature or anything like that. Just a couple minutes. And uh, here we go again. And then again, at this stage, you could add maple syrup. You could add blueberries, raisins, apples. Um, I think I add maple syrup at 45 milliliters per kilogram. And uh, if you have a maple extract, just read what your bottle says because uh, they tend to be potent. They're real strong, so you don't need as much. One or two, maybe four milliliters per kilogram. But we have the mild breakfast sausage and we have the American country style breakfast sausage mixed up here in the bowl. Again, this one's salt, white pepper, onion powder are the main ingredients. And then I'm using coriander, nutmeg, and celery. And I, yeah, I hope you guys make these and play with them. I'll leave them down below. If you make them both, leave me a comment on which one you think's better. Uh, and then we have this guy here again, which is salt, black pepper, sage, uh, cayenne, a little bit of thyme, and I put some white pepper in it. We'll make these guys into uh, a couple patties out of these guys. So for that, I have my little burger press. We'll make some breakfast patties for you know breakfast sandwiches with agars and stuff. So squeeze out a couple balls, portion them out ahead of time, a couple three four ounces. Just to give you guys some ideas that, uh, of different ways to serve breakfast sausage, or make them anyways. And by the way guys, if you make your own breakfast sausage seasonings, you're saving yourself money. There's only like cents, there's cents in this batch. Versus if you were to buy, you know, one of those pre-mixed breakfast seasoning things, it's gonna cost you 10 bucks, if you're 25 pounds. You can mix this up for nothing once you have the spices in your spice cupboard one of the big perks to it and you can play with it you know exactly what's in it there's no msg uh there's not a ton of sugar there's a little bit of sugar in these um there's not loads of salt you know exactly where the sodium content's at we're gonna do two six pack stacks breakfast sausage country style american breakfast sausage and mild Canadian breakfast sausage. Old folks home sausage. <laughs> All right, a couple of those guys. Set this aside here. Pop these off for now. All right. Now, when I'm making these, if you don't have gloves, it definitely helps to get your hand just a little bit wet. Otherwise that sausage is gonna stick to it. And I use one on the top. So I put one piece of paper down on the bottom of the press and one on top. And you just reuse this top guy over and over again. See if I got my burger size right. In there, or squish down. Oh, that's right, you gotta get this guy wet too. Helps keep your sheet wet, so then the, the sausage doesn't stick. This helps get the ball a little wet too. Get those wet hands, keeps everything lubed up. We're gonna push down. Mm. There, it comes off way better. Look at that, a couple little lovely breakfast sausage patties already. Throw them on the grill when you're camping or but friends over, little ball, squish. 
Also, you guys don't have to do this with a burger press. So you can do this by hand. Just portion them out ahead of time, squish them out with your hand or the bottom of a soup container, uh, soup can, I mean. Whatever you got at home, you can improvise with. But I love having little breakfast patties kicking around. They just look so good on the plate beside eggs and waffles and yum. Squish a couple more here to give you guys the idea. Mm, and you can see, I don't know if you guys can see in there, all the seasonings, you got a nice, I'm gonna come closer and show you. Make it a little more visually exciting. You can see there's a nice fat ratio in there. You can see the black pepper. Oh yeah, that's better. You see a little bit of chili flake. If you could smell it, you could smell the sage. Mmm. But it's important to have at least a little bit of fat in these sausages, otherwise they will be dry, dry and dense, I guess. And then you can always add ketchup, but you don't want to be doing that. But all this effort should taste good, should be juicy. All right, there's a little six pack of the country breakfast sausages. Can't even see them. Mm. I'll squish out a couple more of the mild breakfast sausages. All right, last one here, guys, and then we'll switch over to stuffing some breakfast sausage. Now, this is all, this is all, what is it, 4 kgs of pork? So this is gonna, this is 20 bucks. You're gonna be able to make all this for $20 Canadian. 12 burger patties, pressed up, presto, ready to go. I'll set them aside. Get rid of our burger press now and switch over to the sausage stuffer. And we'll do the country style breakfast sausage first. We'll do him into a couple little guys. Glove back on. We'll do him and the little guys and we'll do the uh, mild breakfast sausage into the big ones. Now, uh, as always when loading your sausage stuffer, I prefer the vertical ones, but uh, you wanna pound it in there and try and get all those air pockets out. This one here does have a little air relief in the top, so you guys can hear that. But as I crank this down, it's gonna let air out the top. So this one, is pretty slick, but you always want to help it out and try and get rid of all the air pockets. Really work it in there, good and tight. Man, that smells good. All right, get rid of this. Now, I always clamp my sausage stuffer down, handy C-clamp, and we'll be using a clear collagen casing on these guys. These guys like so. You can see them. Uh, unfortunately, on mine, I forgot I hadn't used this in so long, that uh, I have to feed mine on by hand. Normally, the horns are small enough, you can just sleeve that tube right over top. But I forgot about this guy. Break it off. Then, on these stuffers, I got a high speed and a low speed. I'll use the high speed to get it down till we hit the sausage and feel some resistance. Right there. Switch over to the low speed and then I'll just wait till the first little bit comes out. Perfect. I'll pull that casing, pinch tight with your two fingers like you're doing a remote grip, like you're changing channels. The tighter you pinch, the fuller the sausage casings are gonna get. But if you pinch too tight, they will break. So it's all about finding that fine balance. Right there, and then we got breakfast sausages coming out. I might bring that camera in so you guys can see a little better. All right, guys, got you in for a little closer up view. So yeah, it's these bottom fingers go on the bottom side of the horn. This one pinches on top and you start to feed it with your other hand. Keep in tension, you wanna be able to pinch a little bit of the way through, about a quarter, but if you're able to pinch easily all the way through, you have to squeeze a little tighter with your left hand. 
or the hand that's on the horn. You guys can, maybe you can see, I'm gonna bring that in a little closer yet. And you can see it's starting to take the shape and form of a breakfast sausage. You can see the seasonings coming through. It's really visually appealing. And we have our first little link of breakfast sausage. And we'll link this guy up here. Uh, you can link them and cut them or you can just cut them. Mmm. That looks good. Smells good too. And carry on. You always want to stop and check every so often and make sure your firmness is right. You don't want to have her overstuffed or understuffed, especially if you're going to link them. Okay, so that's the last of those guys. So this is it's probably starting to look pretty familiar to a breakfast sausage, just diameter and such. Um, probably come in about four or five inch lengths. So I just twist them every four or five if you want to do it that way. Then you can cut at the lengths like that. Sorry, I wasn't sure if you guys could see that. Every four or five inches, do three twists towards yourself. So it's pinch, hold that, go another three or four inches, pinch, three turns towards yourself. Pinch. Pinch, three turns towards yourself. Look at that. That looks like breakfast sausage, doesn't it? And if you're not into linking, find it too time consuming, this is a bit quicker. Stretch it out, grab your knife. Quit the, just cut it. So it's, it's even on this end, you guys can't quite see it, but it's even down here, roughly, and it's even here. So I just cut it in half, and I do that again. Take it so it's even on both sides. Even on both sides. Cut it again, cut it again. And then you can just cut it into the length you want. A couple four inches ones, just cut them like so. Stick them in the freezer. And then you cut off these little ends here where the sausage casing gets started. Just square those off so they look nice. And there you go, you got your little pile of breakfast sausage. So, so far for 20 bucks, you got 12 patties. And what is this? I don't know, 20 ish breakfast sausages and another 20 here. So that's all for the 20 bucks. And we haven't even stuffed the mild one yet. And uh, in the mild one, we will switch over, switch this out. Uh, there, it's always gonna be a little bit of sausage left at the bottom of your uh, sausage stuffer or in the horn. And uh, if the sausages are really close together, like these two are pretty, pretty similar type sausages, I'll just stuff it into the next batch. Uh, but if you want, you can always pop this little bit out here. See how there's a little bit of meat left in there? You can always pop that out. Push it back in and up. And uh, it doesn't amount to much. A little handful. And you can always add that into the other batch or you can take it out and cook it. Um, one thing I would suggest, guys, before this step is to take this and, uh, well, I guess, before the stuffing step is to take a little handful and fry it in the frying pan and make sure you're happy with the salt level, the spice profile, uh, the fat ratio and all that stuff. Because once it's in the casing, I mean, you can take it out of here, but it's a pain in the butt. You already went through the effort of stuffing it. So if you can get it before it's in the casing and make your decision, then that's the time to do it. If we have a little bit left over, I'm just gonna blend it into, into our mild breakfast sausage. You're hardly even gonna notice it not very much of it, just a little handful. Blend it in and we'll load it up. And with this one, guys, we are gonna switch over and do more like a banger style, a larger diameter breakfast sausage. And I'm just loading it up here. As always, punch it in. 
get rid of those air pockets. And yeah, you'll notice in that last batch, we didn't even have a single air pocket show up in those little breakfast sausages. One, because we packed it in there good and tight, and two, because this sausage stuffer has a little air release valve at the top, which really helps with air pockets. Okay, guys, so uh, the last one, we use this smaller horn here. And now, obviously, we're switching over to the 2932s, so we're going to use a little bit bigger horn. See that? This guy's a little bit bigger. Thread them on. Pop them in. Make sure he's good and tight. You don't want any sausage leaking out the bottom of your sausage stuffer. We can get rid of these collagen guys. Don't need them anymore. And uh, these guys could be reused. Just make sure you cut any bitty, meaty bits out and put them somewhere to dry. Somewhere to dry. But we'll be using, pull it over here so you guys can see it, natural casings for this one. So these are just some hog casings, 29, 32 millimeters, that I popped in water just before we, I rinsed the salt off and popped in water just before we started this video. So they've been in here for about half hour, 45 minutes at room temperature water. And what I do, I've, uh, two fingers into the sausage casing and I spread it as wide as I can, scoop up some water, you guys can see that. Scoop up some water into the inside of the casing. Do that a couple times, whoops, a couple times. And then as I go onto the horn, it will flush out the salt from inside the casing. So I sleeve it on the horn and feed it on there. I'm hoping this is enough natural casing to do this little two kilogram batch knot developing. We okay, have a good old knot in here. There we go. Straighten that out. Knots, lots of time guys, so long as your sausage casing is wet and it's in water, you can just put your fingers into it and spread your fingers out and pull at the same time and the knots will take care of themselves. All right. So we got that all threaded on there. Now we're gonna make a banger size breakfast sausage. Fresh breakfast sausage, the mild Canadian, European version. Salt, white pepper, sugar, onion powder, coriander, nutmeg, and celery. A little more mild, maybe for grandma and grandpa. There we go, look at that. Mm -hmm. Same thing again applies with this, guys, because these ones are going to break during the linking process if you stuff them too full, so they want it, you need to them to have a little bit of give. See how that has a little bit of give there? You don't want them too tight, and you don't want them too loose, otherwise the sausage casings get chewy. And again, it's all what I call the, the TV remote technique. It's the amount of pressure you're putting down on your thumb uh, with the four other bottom fingers, fingers on the bottom of the horn. All right. There it is, guys, the end of her. We had plenty of casing. Just gonna move my sausage stuffer out of the way. And I do, I link these the same way. I don't do that tree linking style. Uh, so I pinch the end. See, this is where the end is. I always, I always try and leave a little bit to play with there between the end of the casing and the sausage so I can pinch here. Make her, I make them stubby because you don't need a huge portion at breakfast time. So three to four inches, again, so like that, and then I pinch, hold where you made that pinch mark, go about another three or four inches. One, two, three. It's the exact same as the other collagen one. So pinch, go down, and note how it's, I can pinch about three quarters of the way through without the sausage casing breaking here or here. So pinch, one, two, three. Pinch, hold that pinch, go another couple inches. One, two, three. Pinch. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna have a little nubby guy at the end. But yeah, so there we go, guys. Little banger sized breakfast sausage. Traditional, probably what you're more used to seeing, sized breakfast sausage are the collagen casings. And then we have the American style breakfast sausage and breakfast patties on both of those there. How's that look? Bring them in. Mm -mm -mm. Right there, guys.
yum, yum, yum. Um, what I usually do when I package these and these guys is I'll pop them in the freezer for a couple hours so that they firm up. Um, because I use a vacuum packager. If you vacuum package these sausages fresh, um, if you cut them, they will leak out the ends. And uh, when you cook them, they will definitely leak out the ends. See how there's that little small opening there? Maybe not. But if you vacuum package it, it will, where's that nub? This nub has that little open, you vacuum package it, pff, it'll come out the end. Don't want that. So I will freeze these, is what I usually do, and uh, vacuum package them. But there you guys have it. There's a couple different options for you. Uh, two styles of breakfast sausage, the mild and the uh, country style breakfast sausage. Uh, we gave you the seasonings, a couple different ways to stuff them uh, or make patties out of them. And uh, you guys know what to do from here. You're, uh, you, you know your favorite breakfast sausage dish. So I'm not going to cook these for you, but try them out. And like I said, you don't have to stick to it. This isn't, uh, this isn't, you know, if you, if you add something, take something out, it's still going to be a breakfast sausage. It's going to be your breakfast sausage, but this is just a baseline to get you started. So there you go, guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, uh, leave me a comment on uh, how you make your breakfast sausage or what your favorite breakfast dish is. And I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Take care.